If you're a maker of conventional useful things, there's usually already a term for that. Like you might be a cabinet maker or a welder or whatever. But uh, if you play around with a lot of gadgetry and a bit of electronics and 3D printing and make things that are mostly novel, then you're a maker. And if you make such novel things, the most logical thing to do with that sort of stuff is to show it off. And the best place to show that sort of stuff off would be a maker fair. And I see a lot of the bigger YouTubers going to a lot of maker fairs and meeting each other and seems to be developing into a uh, close-knit sort of group of friends. Now the flip side of a close-knit group of friends is if you're not part of that group of friends and it's a highly visible group of friends, then it's a clique. It's basically just the other side of the same thing. A clique is a close-knit group of friends. A close-knit group of friends is a clique when you're not part of it. Now in terms of social life, I've always very much felt myself as an outsider. So when I see that sort of thing, I see it more as a clique as opposed to a close-knit group of friends, especially because I've never been to one of these maker fairs or woodwork in America or that sort of shows. And in terms of my YouTube success, I'm sure the people that go to various shows like that would love to see me there, but I also know the vast majority of the audience doesn't go to these shows and maybe they would feel themselves a little bit more on the outside of this and that's a minor negative. I'm sure nobody would hold it really against me to go to shows like that, but it's just a very small negative for 99.9% .9 of the audience. And so I'm not sure if the pluses would outweigh the negatives. Is it a net gain to go to these things or is it a net loss? It's hard to know. Of course, the uh, in-person type networking at various shows, especially the woodworking shows, I would imagine, would be highly useful in terms of getting to know companies and pursuing sponsorships. But uh, when I've dabbled with sponsorships, it, it just didn't work for me. It's just not my style. So that sort of useful connection wouldn't actually really be that useful for me. It would, of course, be cool to meet a lot of the other creators but uh, I just don't see enough reason to go. I always wonder, am I missing something or how much am I missing? So especially when there's a big maker fair on, I always keenly check on Instagram and YouTube to see what sort of things come out of it. And in terms of the public displays that are there, it's like, oh yeah, that's pretty neat. I really don't need to see that in person. It's not that compelling. So I don't think I'm missing that much there either. And so overall, with maker fairs and shows and such, I just don't see enough compelling reasons for me to go. And uh, sure, it would be, I would go if it was convenient for me to go, but uh, where I'm at, uh, the expense and the time commitment of traveling to one of these, it's just not worth it because it would take a day to get there and then you spend time there and then a day to get back and probably another day to recuperate. Is that worth it to me at this point? Just isn't.